Kaya Kalas, uh, one of my uh, esteemed colleagues uh, from the Baltics, uh, uh, not just uh, from the Baltics, but uh, I would say significant figure in the older group. Uh, but uh, what is important, she is Estonian. And I do remember, if I may start by with that, uh, a conversation that I had at that time with an excellent French diplomat, Deputy Saint-Jean of the Council, Pierre de Boissier, and I, I made a reference to Estonia and Latvia and Vienna, and he said, what? I said, well, uh, I don't know what you want to do, I said, the Baltics. And he, he said, what is this? Uh, and I, I, know, I know what he meant. Uh, he was provocative in his arrogant and using the arrogant way to say, we know nothing about this. We don't know what to expect, but he said, but we know what we can expect from you, the chief of public. I'm now looking at the, at the picture. For me, Estonia is one of the success stories. How come? How come Estonia is a success story? Or is it? Am I getting it wrong? Uh, well, we would never say outside that you're getting it wrong. No, we are a success story. No, uh, I mean, uh, compared to the place where we came from, uh, meaning that uh, 25 years ago we were part of the Soviet Union, uh, we regained our independence and now we are at the medial, you know, medium level of, of the European income, which is mm -hmm. quite, quite good. So I, I would say that we are a success story. Uh, what we have done, I think we have done some very bold political decisions. Mm -hmm. uh, how is that possible? I think because our country is so small, we have 1.3 million people, so you can convince everybody one by one that, you know, these are difficult decisions. I think it's decisions. More, than, uh, more than that. But, well, uh, yeah, more than that, but, but still we are small and flexible, so we can do maybe things that, uh, that larger countries can't do so far. Also a question of political courage? Political courage, definitely, and political will as well. Mm. And not that only uh, that we talk about things, but we actually agree that this, these are the steps that we need to take to to make uh, Estonia. Uh, maybe uh, completely ignorant, but still question: uh, uh, What kind of role are the EU and, and Estonia's membership in you played in this respect? Uh, it played a huge role in the beginning because uh, that was the goal. We really wanted to join the European Union and so we had to make, uh, you know, do some uh, decisions and also everybody, uh, all uh, the country, all the people uh, had to make uh, some adjustments to how we lived and, and which are the rules that we live uh, by. Uh, so, so it was an effort uh, from everybody, uh, and and I think that was the goal that we are part of the European Union. Why is it so important uh, for us as a small country? Uh, we can never be uh, successful alone. We can never be alone, really. So we have two choices: either to be with the West or to be with the East. Everyone has the choice. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I must say that there are some Czech politicians that feel that the East is the choice for us. Uh, but I think we well, should. Well, we have uh, we been there. Don't go there. <laughs> yeah, good, good. You see, uh, uh, Miloš Zeman should be watching this uh, video for sure, and his uh, casting in play. Uh, now, uh, you've just been elected uh, chair of your party. Uh, uh, a party which has a significant role. Uh, it will do, I would guess, very well in the elections. Uh, it might even, uh, no? the ambition is to win the election. No, ambition is always uh, to win the election. Which then means that uh, we, we might be talking, uh, she doesn't like to, uh, to hear that, but we might be talking to the next uh, Senate Prime Minister. But from that point of view, I mean, party leader, uh, just to wrap up this short interview, how would you see the challenges for the European Union and for Estonia in the coming years? Where, where do you really see the, bot the main bottlenecks, the main challenges, uh, and is there a liberal answer uh, to these challenges? I think, um, well, um, first of all, the answer is in the economy, definitely. So, so everything that we, we do here must be uh, you know, in the benefit of the economy because there is the place where people actually benefit also from the tax revenues and everything. Uh, so, so the question is how can our economy, European economy and also member states uh, in, in that uh, bigger uh, part compete with the other parts of the world? 
uh, are we liberal in a sense that uh, do we let uh, entrepreneurs, uh, companies do what they uh, what they want to innovate? To and our answer, at least the two of us, is yes. Yes, by all we means. have to. Uh, but but are the we there? The yeah. But are we there? Uh, no. So we definitely, even in Estonia, we have uh, sometimes uh, we have too many rules yeah. uh, and too many uh, places where the state wants to tell the companies or the people how you should do one thing or the other. So I don't think it's the right way. And that's where we are on the same line and that is why I enjoy working with Kaya and uh, I think we still have uh, a few things to do here in the last, uh, in the remaining one year. Kaya, thanks a lot. Thank you. Yeah, bye. 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 Bye.